Working with Voki, Speaking Avatars for Pinterest. What is Voki? A Voki is a speaking character or avatar. Customize a character, add your voice, and publish it online for viewing. Vokis can be added to websites and blogs and even Pinterest. This video features a quick overview for creating a Voki and provides tips for adding it to Pinterest. To begin, you need an account with Voki. My account is with Voki Education. After login, you'll be directed to your Voki site if others are already created. To begin, select Create a New Voki. The steps are simple. Customize your character, give it a voice, select a background, a Voki player, tweak, and publish. Starting with customize your character. There are a lot of different options available. Please note that anytime you see the graduation cap, that character is part of Voki Classroom, the paid subscription. For this tutorial, I will be using only free options to create a Voki. Choose Customize Character and explore starting with the head, hair, and mouth. I'm going to start with Classic, selecting this character, and we'll customize, choosing hair, and then moving on to clothing. For this character, I'm going to choose a black sweater. Moving on to bling, I'm going to select glasses. And some jewelry. When finished, select done, and the menu collapses. The next option on the menu is give it a voice. I generally say voice until last, so my next choice will be backgrounds. A number of options are available. You may choose from the preset or upload one of your own. I'm going to choose an indoor setting and opt for a class. And I'm finished. Next is the player. I'm going to choose one that's lighter in color. Once the basics are in place, you can tweak your avatar. Located directly below the avatar character are options for color. You can choose an eye color, hair color, and tweak your avatar, working with mouth, nose, body, height, and width. I'm going to make my avatar a little taller shrink her nose. It's also possible to change the placement of your Voki within the player. To do so, click on the magnifying glass located in the bottom right hand corner of the player. You can move her closer, farther away, left, up, down, and to the right. When you're finished, simply close the menu. It's time to give your Voki character a speaking voice. It is possible to record your voice by phone, use the text-to-speech option, record audio directly to Voki with a microphone, or upload audio from a file. I'm going to upload an audio file created using Audacity. Select the file folder and upload your file. Since I have used this account before, audio files are already stored. For new audio, browse to the file and upload. After successful upload, the audio will begin to play. Books and 
If you're satisfied, click Done. Before publishing your completed character, it's possible to set it to play automatically. Select Play Audio Automatically and OK. Now, as soon as users click on your Vokey, it will automatically begin to speak. Publish your Vokey. Name it and continue. Vokey characters may be embedded on a website or blog. Choose your size, copy the code, and use it on your page. Vokey characters may also be accessed via link for general use or on Symbaloo. To use with Pinterest, we're going to select the size and choose the standard Vokey link. Copy the link and paste it in a browser. Unfortunately, at this time, you cannot actually pin the Vokey to Pinterest since it is a Flash product. Use the Print Screen option on your keyboard and paste your Vokey into a photo editing tool or even PowerPoint. Crop and save your Vokey as a JPEG or GIF to upload to Pinterest. Log into your Pinterest account. Choose the board for your Vokey and add it as a pin. After upload, add a description to your pin. When you're finished, pin your image. You can add the Vokey link in two different ways. Edit your image. If you paste it in the source and save, the attribution information changes from uploaded by user to pinned from Vokey.com. When you click on the image, you will then be directed to your Vokey upload. You can also add the URL to the pinned description and users will be able to click on it and view from there. The link is now embedded in the box and will take you to your Vokey. I hope you enjoy working with Vokey and Pinterest.